So all of us wanted to come together and give you a back to school video where we share what we usually do the first three days of school. Hello and welcome back to my channel. So my name is Marily Sanchez and I am a fourth grade teacher in South Florida. For today's video, I am bringing you a collaboration between Kate the Sleepy Teacher, Jeremy from the First Grade Cafe, and Marie from the Caffeinated Classroom. So all of us wanted to come together and give you a back to school video where we share what we usually do the first three days of school. So my first day of school begins with me, and yes, I am about to start my 18th year of school, but I still get nervous on the first day of school, believe it or not. But I do wait by my classroom door outside to greet the students with a handshake and a smile and welcome them inside. I don't have assigned seats the first day. Actually, I don't have assigned seats the whole first week of school. And I do that on purpose. I wanna see who the students gravitate to, who they can work well with, who they really shouldn't sit next to. And that information helps me figure out the seating chart for the second week of school but I do not start with assigned seats. So when they come in, they find a place to sit and when they sit on their desk, I already have provided for them two different sheets of paper. One of them is a Forest Trivia, which is a free resource in my TPT store, which I'll link in the description box below. I have these going from second grade all the way to fifth grade. And in the same resource, I have a classroom scavenger hunt sheet that you can print on the back so the students can look around the classroom and fill it out with the information of what they observe. So as they're working on this, they also have a personality quiz that I put on their desk. And this personality quiz comes from my house sorting guide. And this is what I use in order to sort my students into different houses, just like in Harry Potter. But my houses are not the Harry Potter houses. I did create these houses myself after extensive research that I did last summer. And I created the resource that is now available at my TPT store. So I use the information in the personality quiz to determine which house the students will best fit in. Now, along with this, I do provide them with one of these pencils. These are the four different colors. And they basically said fabulous fourth grader. So each of them gets this. It will be already sharpened for them to start using with these papers. And another thing that I like to provide for my students other than a pencil is a bookmark. This year I'm giving them the Reading is Magical bookmark because we are doing a Harry Potter theme and magic is actually one of the themes for our school this year. Be the Magic is our school theme. So these are the different things that the students have on their desk and find as soon as they come into my classroom after I welcome them inside. And this also gives me an opportunity to continue welcoming students into my classroom while the rest of the students have something to do as they're waiting for me to get the day started. Now, after all that is done, I do take attendance. And then after that, I start my welcome back PowerPoint, which goes over a little bit about myself. So I introduce my students to who I am, what I like, and different fun facts about me. I also then go over our class rules, our procedures, our expectations, our behavior management plan. It's an extensive PowerPoint. We go over it. I share examples, practice various procedures and expectations as well. And that usually takes up a big chunk of the morning. And also I take time and I do take students on a tour of where our fire exit route is, where we should line up in the morning, etc. So those are the different things that happen mostly on the first day. Other than that, I do a lot of reading with my students. I read some poems. I also read different books. In the past, I have read First Day Jitters, which is a great book to read on the first day. And the students can predict what's happening or what's going to happen. And then there's a little sort of a surprise ending in this book if you've never read it. And it's really fun. So another thing that I like to read on my first day with the students is a poem by Gary Soto called Oranges which is about a first time that he did something, which was in this case, the first time he walked with a girl. And it's a cute little poem. And then after that, they have questions on the back that they answer these questions I put together myself. And then I read the book, My Brave Year of First by Jamie Lee Curtis. And after we do that, this usually prompts them to start writing about a first. So they'll brainstorm, three different things that they remember as their first, whether it's the first time they rode a bicycle, the first time they came into fourth grade, or the first time they went somewhere, and they choose one topic and they do a quick little write, and that lets me know a little bit more about them. Another thing that I like to do as far as writing goes is I like to have them do my summer short story. So I give them this planning sheet where they brainstorm what they did in the summer, they choose one thing that they wanna focus on, and they write a draft, 
and they do some peer editing as well. And when they take it to final draft, they copy their story from here, which is in the shape of a three by five index card that they then glue onto the shorts template and then they decorate the shorts according to whatever the story was about or however they wanna decorate it. They write their name on the top and boom, they cut it out. It's an instant bulletin board. Most of my bulletin boards in the classroom, as you will see, throughout my setup vlogs and my first week of school vlogs are empty. And that's because I wait for students to create work in order to put them up there. So their student work boards pretty much. And I like to showcase their work like that. So those are some of the get to know me activities that we do. I mean, I have more, but basically that's all we're doing the first day of school. We're getting to know each other. We're going over rules, expectations, procedures. We're getting to know the schedule. We're getting to know the school, where we go, how we line up, how we travel, all things like that. Now. Another thing that I like to do, whether it's the first day or the second day of school, is I like to go into a conversation about our names because our names are very special and they're part of our identity of who we are. So I usually read to them Chrysanthemum and I couldn't find my book. My district has access to Discovery Education and the book Chrysanthemum is on there as an animated story that they can watch and listen. So it's a very short story, it's about 15 minutes or so. And after they watch that, we read the name jar, which is about a girl from Korea who comes to America and kids in her bus start making fun of her name and she doesn't want to introduce herself with her own name the first day of school because she thinks the kids will make fun of her so they start creating a name jar giving her suggestions of what name she should pick because she says that sometimes Koreans come to America and when they come to America they choose a new name an American name but as the story unravels we learn a little bit about her name and how special it is and then something happens to the name jar and you're gonna have to find out more what she does in the end does she keep her name does she choose a new name you have to find out. This kind of springboards one of our homework assignments for the first week of school, which is a name research and interview sheet that I got from a Scholastic teacher blog, which I'll also link in the description box below. But basically they interview their family member about their name, just asking them these simple questions. And then on the back, they go on the web to maybe a baby naming website or somewhere where they can get information. And if they can't get some of this information, it's fine. They can just put, you know, an A or none found. But as long as they get a good amount of information about their name, they can get started on sharing more about their name and hopefully doing a little small writing piece on their name. All right, also the first day of school, the homework assignment that they're given is the cereal box autobiography, which is a free resource from TPT, which I'll link down below. They take an empty cereal box and they follow these directions to decorate it to get to introduce themselves a bit further to the class and they have a whole week to get that done. So we give them that assignment on Monday and it's not due until the following week, Monday, so that they can present it and we get to know a little bit about each other. Now, as it is, I know this is a lot of information and activities for the first day of school and sometimes you just don't have time to do all of this, which is fine because I plan on moving them over to the second day, the third day, etc. And even if we have to move it on to the next week and have them finish some of these things, that's okay. But the main theme about the first three days or the first week of school is that we all are getting to know each other. It's very important for me to build relationships with my students and that's exactly what I have planned for the first three days of school. All right, so... Another fun thing that I would like to do this year is an M&M icebreaker where I will give each student a little fun sized bag of M&Ms and they open it and they take one color out randomly and according to the color, they get to share something about themselves. So I wrote it down and I'll probably create something to go along with it eventually. It'll be a free resource. But basically, if they pick blue, they have to share something that they like to do for fun. If they pick green, they have to share their favorite food. If they pick orange, they need to answer what's something you're good at. If they pick brown, they need to share something that they can't live without. If they pick red, they answer, what do you want to learn about? And if yellow, they share three adjectives about themselves. I think that is such a great activity and it's fun. And then they can eat the M&Ms because why not? All right, so carrying on the whole theme of getting to know me, I found this resource on TPT, which is an All About Me t-shirt. Again, it just shares more about who they are and it also creates a great display for the classroom. Here is a math about me as well, which is sharing more information about themselves but using numbers. And here is a science about me from the Science Penguin using some great scientific concepts to get to share a little bit more about themselves. Now, I don't really start fully, fully teaching, teaching 
from the textbooks until a couple days later. Some of these get to know me activities or first day activities carry on until the second, third day of school. And I do try to get into the math textbook because that's part of the pacing guide for my district by the first or second day and it's place value. So even if I do something fun that is place value, that is still touching the standard of place value, I'm fine even if I don't even open the textbook because they're still hitting that standard. Another thing that I like to teach the first three days of school is the scientific method. And I created this little comic strip that on the back, it shows the different steps in a flow map showing how we conduct a scientific method. And kids are gonna complete this after we do our Skittles lab. But basically, they're going to follow the steps of the scientific method by starting with a question. That's identify the problem. The problem is always stated in the form of a question. So we start with a question, and then from there we will build upon the science experiment and it'll be a lot of fun. And again, more treats to eat and snack on because why not? Another thing that I like to make sure I have ready for my students and ready for them to take home is my back to school packet. And let me show you a little bit. I started using Bitmojis, so that is how it looks like on the top. And my back to school packet has a lot of information about my procedures, my rules, my expectations, and it's supposed to go home so that parents and students can review it together, sign it, and then send me the signed parts of the sheets to me so that I can keep it for my records. And it's just good information and all teachers do that at the beginning of the year so that goes home the first day of school and it's not due until the last day of that first week of school all right for social studies what i like to do the first three days is i like to introduce my students to the florida symbols because in fourth grade students learn more about their state their state history so i have a powerpoint that i show them where they will see all of the different florida state symbols and they will look through it and find three state symbols that are their favorites and they will Put the state symbol name on top they will illustrate it and they will write a sentence or two explaining why they chose it and why it is their favorite and this turns into a trifold which i'll show you like this and i put this together i have not put it on tpt but it looks like this when they open it like that they illustrate that or they color it in and then they complete the inside and this is my instant bulletin board for my social studies board so that will go up there now on the second day of school we're continuing to go over the classroom rules procedures expectations etc we're continuing a lot of these different get to know you activities they're finishing them off and another thing that we start to do is to set up our interactive notebooks and then on the third day of school we're still continuing to go over rules expectations and procedures and we're still completing get to know me activities but one big thing happens on the third day of school in my class Classroom, and that is the house sorting ceremony so the personality quiz that they completed that is what I use in order to determine which house the students will best belong in and I have set up a whole PowerPoint where the students walk up to the front of the classroom their name is projected behind them in white letters with a black background and then there's a voice that comes out of nowhere and starts saying hmm I see that you're creative and you have great out-of-the-box ideas. You're also friendly and kind, but where should I place you? I know, River. So the voice will speak to them, and then as soon as the voice decides what house they're sorted into, the next slide shows the crest of the house that they belong to. So I have a lot of fun with that, and then of course I will give them time to meet with their houses so that they can establish who's gonna be the prefect of the house and who's going to come up with a creative chant or song that they're going to start practicing so that they can show their house spirit from time to time. All right, so that's a lot of the different things that I do my first three days of school. The main thing being going over those rules, procedures, and expectations, repeat, 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 practice, 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 and building relationships with my students, getting to know them, having them get to know me, and that is very essential for the beginning of the school year so that we can have an amazing year together of learning and fun and excitement. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button, leave a comment down below, let me know what you thought or any questions you may have also if you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing and hitting the bell for notifications so you don't miss any future videos also don't forget to check out kate's video jeremy's video and marie's video all in the same topic so that you can see what they start off in the first three days of school have a beautiful magical day and don't forget to smile see you next time